So for this project, you're going to chain in multiples of 32 plus 2. So you'll go ahead and start chaining in your multiples and then just stop at whatever length you want. I'm just going to do 32 because I want to show you the basics of the pattern and then the ends. So I'm not going to be making an entire blanket in this video today. So go ahead and chain your amounts in multiples of 32 and I will meet you back when you have your desired length using those numbers. Okay, I'm gonna write this out for you so you don't get discouraged because this was seriously the toughest part um, of this whole pattern for me. So we have multiples of 32 plus two. And we do our 32 and then we do our two. So we're gonna come back and we're going to do seven, seven single crochets we're gonna chain two and skip two and then seven single crochets. And then we're gonna chain one. Then we're not gonna skip anything and we're gonna do seven single crochets. And then we're going to chain two we're going to skip two and we're going to do seven single crochets. And then we're going to start the pattern over again by doing a chain one and then seven single crochets. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, seven single crochets, chain two, seven single crochets, chain one, seven single crochets, chain two, seven single crochets, chain one. And when you're chaining the twos, you skip two loops. When you chain one, you do not. You just go into that seven single crochets. So that is as complex as this gets. So let's get started with the guts of the afghan. Okay, so I have chained 32, and you will have chained more based on the length of the blanket you want. And when you get to the end of your chain, you're going to add two more on. And then we are going to be working something kind of strange. And you'll have to look at my the link in the description box, and you can reference my uh, blog if you want to. I have some patterns on there, and I'm going to have this up on there. What we're going to do is, in the second loop from your hook, you're going to do seven single crochets. So one, two, three, and I am using a larger hook than what my yarn requires because I want you to be able to see my loops in this tutorial. So you should have seven cro single crochets. Okay. Next, we're going to chain two. And we're going to skip the next two loops. And we're going to do seven more single crochets. Next you're going to chain one, then you're going to go into the next loop and do seven more single crochets. Then you're going to chain two, skip the next two loops, and finish off with seven single crochets.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna write this out for you real quick so you have a quick reference. So the first thing we wanna do when we have that first row done, on our second row, we're going to chain seven. And then we're gonna go along our starting foundation chain here and we're gonna find that chain two space and we're going to put a slip stitch into it. So just pull through and pull through, just like that. Now we're going to chain three and then Throughout this pattern, you're going to be turning your work to make up the shell. So we're going to turn our work. We're going to skip the first three loops. So one, two, three. And we're going to do a single crochet in the remaining four. Make sure I have all that yarn there. So single crochet. And this is going to be the basis for building up our all of our shells. This is the guts of the project right here is these um, turning our work chain three and four single crochets. So we have four single crochets and we have a chain three here on that chain of seven. So now we are going to chain one, turn our work back to the original way we're gonna do four single crochets in the back loop only. So when you're looking at your work from the top, you're only gonna go into the back loop for your single crochets. And we're gonna do four of them. When we're done with our four, we're going to chain three. And then we're gonna go into the, the base chain again in that area of the chain two that we originally went into and we're gonna do a slip stitch. Just like that. Then we're going to chain three. Turn the work again and do a back loop single crochet skipping the first three chains. So one, two, three chains into the fourth. We're going to do four single crochets in the back loop only. When we get to the end, we do a chain one and we turn our work again. We go back into the back loop only for four single crochets. Oops, sorry, that came undone. Let me start that again. Back loop, four single crochets. And then three chains and then into that same chain space in the foundation chain with another slip stitch. So you just keep repeating this until down here you have 14 of these guys. So there's one, two, three, four, we're on our fifth. Now we're going to chain three, turn our work, go into the last four back loop only, single crochets. Chain one, turn our work, go into the back loop four only, single crochets. and chain three. 
go into your foundation chain, do a slip stitch, chain three again, skip your first three loops, go into the last four in the back loop only with a single crochet. When you get to the end, chain one, turn your work, back loop, four single crochets. So I will meet you back when you have 14 of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got a little work to do and I'll meet you back when there's 14 of those chain threes. Okay, so I am finishing up my last little row here. Chaining three. I changed out my hook. It just wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to, so I'm gonna finish with this smaller hook, which is more of an appropriate size for the yarn I'm using. Okay, so when you finish, you wanna make sure that you're finished at the top of your shell. Um, I changed up my hook right about there, so this is gonna be big, but it doesn't matter because it's just a demo. So, now you're gonna look in your foundation chain and you're gonna find, you can count over seven loops, or you can just find that little chain one space that you left in there when we did our foundation chain. And you're going to go in and you're just gonna tack in your shell with a single crochet, just like that. Then you're going to chain seven. And you're going to find your next little area of your chain two, seven stitches over and you're going to slip stitch that into place like so. And then we're gonna start working on our next shell. So you're going to chain three, turn your work, count back on this chain seven, three stitches, and then you're going to do a double cro or a single crochet in the next four loops. Now there is no back loop here. I know on your other shell you were used to working the back loop, but there's no back loops yet until we put in this first row. So just four single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. Now you go into the back loop and do four single crochets. chain three, and then do a slip stitch into your chain two space in your foundation chain. Just like before, chain three, turn your work, do four back loop single crochets, chain one, turn your work, and then I will meet you back when you once again have 14 of these little feet of chain threes coming off of your foundation chain. Okay, so I'm finishing up my last little chain three. And my four back post single crochets. Always making sure we're ending at the top of the shell, not down at the base. And then since you'd be working a blanket, you're gonna find your next single crochet space 
and you're going to tack it down. But when you're at the end of your blanket, you're just going to be repeating this and repeating this and repeating this. But when you're at the end of the blanket, you're going to have an even number. You're just going to go back into that last loop area and do a single crochet to tack down your last shells. So you're just going to be working these shells all through your blanket and then um, I'm going to have you change color. So just noticing the, the hook change, this is so much better than this and I'm sorry that I didn't do that earlier but we're just gonna ignore it, move on because um, I am too lazy to start over and do more instructions. So now we're gonna do a color change and I am just gonna change into white for this next row. So go ahead and get your color and I'm just gonna pull it through like so. And then I'm going to turn the work. Okay, once you have your color changed, you're going to chain five. Then you're gonna go into the same place where you've changed your color, just that back loop, and you're going to do a double crochet. So just anywhere in that little back area, enough to get it cinched in and do a double crochet. So it's gonna look kind of like this. Next, you're going to chain two. And in our work here, you kind of have a top ridge and a bottom ridge. Let me see if I can show you with the scissors. This is really difficult um, yarn to show you with. Maybe I'll show you with this one. So you have a top and a bottom. Basically a peak and a valley, a peak and a valley, a valley, peak, valley. So what we want to do is go into not our first peak but right behind our second peak with a single crochet. Then we're going to chain one and we're going to go behind the next peak with a single crochet. Then we're going to chain one, go behind the next peak with a single crochet. Chain one behind the next peak with a single crochet. and then chain one and behind the next peak with a single crochet. We don't go all the way to the end. So it looks like that. We have a little area left here. Once you've done five single crochets and the chain ones, you're gonna reach this little valley here and we're going to be working specifically through that chain one space in our foundation chain again. We're going to do a treble crochet. So you're going to wrap the yarn around your hook twice. You're going to find that chain one space and you're going to yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Then you're going to chain two. Then you're going to do it again. Another treble crochet. Yarn, wrap your yarn around your hook twice, go in that first space, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Just like that. Then you're going to find your next peak over here and you're going to do a single crochet. So this is basically how you're going to work in between all of your shells for this next row is your treble crochet, chain two, treble crochet, and then find your next peak. Do a single crochet, a chain one, next peak, single crochet, chain one, next peak, and there should be five peaks. That's three, four, and five. 
And then when if you're continuing on you would go ahead and do your treble crochet right into that chain one space in your foundation chain a chain two and another treble crochet and then go back into your shell five times so hopefully that makes sense so when you reach the end of this row you're going to do another treble crochet and you're going to find your last uh, chain space there and turn over pull through pull through two pull through two pull through two you're going to chain two and go through one more time oops I didn't do a treble I did a double like so. So you have a V here, a V here, you should have V's all along, and then your ends look a little funky. We have to kind of do a makeshift one when we start, um, but it all works out in the end. Next thing you're going to do for your next row is chain nine. And you're going to turn your work and you're going to come back down your chain um, into your seventh loop so one two three four five six seven and you're going to do a single crochet and you're going to do that four times so four single crochets in a row Then you're going to chain three and then you're going to go into that V space that you made and do a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain three, turn your work, and then start with your back loop single crochets again. We're only going to do half this many on the end, so we will be doing seven. Um, seven sets I guess if you want to call it seven of the legs where we did 14 before so we're only going to do half we don't want a full shell on the end chain one turn your work four back loop single crochets chain three go into that same space with a slip stitch chain three and I will meet you back when you have um, seven of these okay now that I have seven little feet on my hook on my shell one two three four five six seven and I'm at the top of my shell what we're going to be doing is working into the top part of our shell so if you can see here if you pull it apart um, you have one two three four so we want to tack into this would be the middle right here we're going to tack right into just to the right of the middle so let me see how many chains that is for you. So one, two, three, four chains over, and you're gonna do a single crochet. You're gonna do a chain one, and then you're gonna skip a stitch, and into the next stitch, you're going to do a single crochet. So I don't know if you can see, that will be our first, that's a better yarn to demonstrate what I'm trying to show you but that is our first one then you're going to chain seven you're going to go into this V area here with a slip stitch and then you're going to chain three 
turn your work, count back three stitches, and do four single crochets. And then you're going to build up the middle part of your shell here. So repeating the shell pattern, chain one, turn your work, four back loop single crochets, chain three, and slip stitch into the V. chain three, turn your work, do your four back loop single crochets. So I will meet you back when you have 14 um, of your chain threes on this shell and show you how to tack it in and finish off your row. Okay, once you've finished your shell, you'll have your 14 little um, chain threes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You stop at the top of the shell and you're going to tack it down now into the previous shell row. So you can skip four chain stitches, one, two, three, four, and you go in and do a single crochet. Or you can just look and see what is the top of your shell. Um, it really depends on how your work is turning out. This one came out really big because I had a bigger needle in the or hook in the beginning. So I am counting right now. Uh, so just find the top of your previous shell and there's going to be a center. So you're going to go right to the right of the center and then you're going to chain one and then you're going to do a, another single crochet to the left of the center and then you have that shell all tacked down. So now what you're going to do is you're going to chain seven And since you would be proceeding on with your shells across your afghan, you would repeat this again. You would tack into your V space, which would be here in between two shells, and do your 14 crochets again. And then when you reach the end, this is what I'm going to show you now. So from here to here, you're going to repeat all through the afghan. Then when you reach your end, this is how you're going to finish off your row. So you're going to chain your seven, you're going to do a slip stitch, chain three, turn your work, and then you're going to skip three chains and do four single crochets, just like all of your other shells. And you're going to do this until you have eight of your chain threes on your shell like you did over here. So chain one. Okay, so I'm finishing up my last shell row. And your work should look kind of like this. So now we're ready to start our next row and we're going to do a color change. So go ahead and grab your next color and get it switched into there. like that. First thing you want to do is turn your work and then you're going to go into this first space here with a single crochet sorry it's a little 
messed up for my color change. Chain one, go into the next space here in front of your shell like you've been working with another single crochet. Chain one, and we're gonna do one more like that. Next we're going to do a treble crochet. We're going to go down into this little space here. You can see it right in between, right? The tippy top of the shell, the gray shell. And do a treble crochet. Followed by a chain two and another treble crochet if I can get my yarn worked out here. So a chain two and another treble crochet in that same space. Just like that. Next we're going to skip some they're not really stitches. We're going to skip some of the shell tops here and we're going to find not the first ridge. We're skipping this first ridge and we're going to be working right behind this second ridge. We're going to put in a single crochet, chain one, get into the back of the next ridge, single crochet, chain one, the next ridge. We're going to do this five times, chain one, there's four, chain one, and five. So we have the top of our shell completely covered. Then we're going to go back into this next space with a treble crochet again. Chain two and a treble crochet into that chain one space at the bottom of the white row or you're at the very tip of the shell on the gray. Next we're going to again skip this first ridge, go into this second ridge with a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, and then I'm just going to go into this end here with a single crochet. So it's all nice and finished off. Next you're going to turn your work and chain seven. Now this should start coming um, pretty easily to you. You know the next step is to go into this V area with a slip stitch. Chain three. Turn your work and do your four back loop single crochets. So you should pretty much know the pattern now um, it's not the easiest. It's definitely not a beginner um, pattern, but you just keep repeating um, this row and the next row and work up your shells by doing the four single crochets, chain three, slip stitch, and then back on up. So I'll meet you back at the end of the shell, show you how to tack it down again, and um, then show you finishing up this row and starting the following row, and then uh, set you loose. So this one you're going to go ahead and have the same chain count here. You're going to have 14 of these um, chain threes coming out of the middle, and same with here as well. And uh, when I get done with this, I'll show you one more time, it, since you can actually see the spaces here, how to uh, tack. Okay, once you've finished your shell, um, this is a good way to illustrate tacking down your shell, because you can kind of see between the blue and the white. Um, here, 
is your shell in and of itself. And it has these ridges here. So this is the center of the shell right here. So when you're tacking down, you wanna go just to the right of the center with a single crochet. So you basically link up right there and then you've got your shell tacked down and then you're going to chain one and then you skip that middle area and then go into the next at the other top ridge of the shell for another single crochet. So that is how you tack down in between your shells. Um, that's how we did it here but this really il illustrates it well so um, I may even use this part to show you how to tack down here when I get this all put together. So to continue on, you're going to chain seven. You're going to do a slip stitch down into the middle V, chain three, Last one there. And then turn your work and start with your four back loop single crochets. Of course in your chain there is no back loop so we just start out with four single crochets. So continue on with this shell. I'll meet you back up and show you how to finish this row and we'll start the next row together and then you should really be good to go as far as this pattern. Okay, I've come to the end of my shell and we're gonna tag it down. We're gonna go into the chain space right before your last chain with a single crochet and then you're gonna go into your last chain with another single crochet. Next you're going to want to change your yarn color if that's what you're doing and you're just going to restart from this row here. So pull through gray so it would be, on my pattern, you'd be restarting with the white, but I am changing to gray for my pattern. And we're going to chain five. And then turn work. And then go back into that first space with a double crochet. To make our first V. Then we're going to let me see here. Go into the back of our shell with a single crochet, chain one, and just continue the row, and you'll just be repeating this row and this row until you are done with your Afghan. And um it's a great project. It's pretty advanced, so I'd love to see pictures.